Another way to measure the acceleration due to gravity, g, at your location is with a pendulum. A simple pendulum can be constructed just by supporting a concentrated mass with a very light string of negligible mass. Provided the amplitude of the oscillation isn't too large, the pendulum will exhibit simple harmonic motion, or SHM, and oscillate with a constant period. One oscillation is the time taken for the mass to travel from one side to the other and then back to its starting point. This can be expressed by the formula time equals 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the string length over g. This can be converted to gradient intercept form. If we square both sides, we can remove the square root. This can be rearranged further to read time squared equals open brackets 4 pi squared over g, close bracket, multiplied by length. This can then be used as an equation of a straight line with c being 0. We can plot time squared over length to reveal our straight line. So we can say the gradient, or m, of the line is 4 pi squared over g. Or we can rearrange this to express g as 4 pi squared over gradient m. Try conducting this experiment on your own. Create a pendulum using a heavy mass such as a lead sinker or possibly a ball of blue tack. Make the initial length as long as you can, ideally 2 metres if possible. The longer the length of string, the smaller the margin of error. A half centimetre margin of error over 200 centimetres is 0.25%. The same margin of error over 50 centimetres is higher at 1%. Pull the pendulum aside by about 20 centimetres, release it and measure the time taken for 20 oscillations. You can choose more if you like. The larger the number, the smaller the margin of error will be. Record your results. Then shorten the pendulum by 10 centimetres and repeat the process. Using a graphing tool, plot time squared versus length. The gradient m will allow you to determine the value of g.